Welcome everybody into this new video. In this tutorial, let's take a look at how we can add an appointment booking or even scheduled into your Square Pay, Square Space website and it's really for free. So I'm gonna leave you guys a link down below in the description. If you do want to have a few rewards, just by signing up. And first of all, what I do want to do is to go into uh, what are your top goals. And this is just for people who don't have a website already. So in my case, I do want to promote an event or a project, uh, sell some services, get appointments. Of course, I want to enable this option of get appointments and go into showcase expertise, build community, go into next. Where are you in your process? So I want to look for something like formalizing an idea or personal project or go into the growing and existing business. I can strongly suggest that if you don't know what to do, what are you doing here into the square space and you're just browsing, you want to go into the collect inspiration and then hit into finish. So make any template yours with easy. So based on the types that you chose, it's going to be showing us what I can do, what template is going to be fitting for what I do have available. So once you do have something that can be uh, helping you, like looking good, for example, you're going to hit into start re reset up. It's going to be helping us to set these things up. And what I just need to do is to fill out all my information, my images, descriptions, whatever I want to add into my website is going to be added automatically. I mean, you have to add this, but the template has been added successfully. For example, the site title. So here into the site title, I want to add, uh, let's say, uh, scroll right into continue. Then I have the sell anything, products, products and services, bookable appointment for client, and access to content calls, and more. So I'm going to get into next. Track traffic, go into next once again, next, and of course, if I want to style my site right away, I can do that. If I want to set up my store, I can do it. If I want to customize my content, first of all, I want to style my website. So here I want to quit the assistant because I don't need this. Here into the reset up, I want to change the name that here is in here. So I'm going to go into edit, go into start. I want to go into skipped and skipped once again. So here I do want to fill as much information as I can. So here, for example, I'm going to tap ES like that. So if I want to duplicate this, for example, and change this text for something like records, go into OK. And I do want to try to change this as a background. So there we go. All right. So I'm going to go back here into my heading options and try to look for the appointment the file that we were just looking for. So I want to scroll a little bit down and look for the appointment. If I don't see that in here, you don't have to worry about that. What we want to do is to go directly into the ad block. And here into the ad block, I just need to look for booking. Both of them are going to be able in here into scheduling. So connect to scheduling, use this block to start a schedule trial or connect an assistant account. So what I want to do is to move this down in here. So for example, I don't want to see these files and I want to add a few sections here and I want to make this a little bit more big enough to make a schedule. So you connect to scheduling. I think this for me, it's looking great like this or even like this. So you're going to choose start a schedule trial and here into my content square space it says get started with scheduling so we're going to hit into setup it's going to be sending me into the seal tomato of square space this is a configuration that we need to use of course to schedule here into uh, our free website so i just need to be patient here and what i do have available here is the business name the scheduling page url if you do have one of those and if not go into next and here to next, we do have the set up your first appointment type, like name, duration of minutes, and the price. So here into the name, let's say I want to look for consultation, consultation, and then I want to hit into duration and minutes. I'm going to hit into, let's say, 45. And the price, I'm going to hit into 200 because this is an MX. You hit into next, 
set up your availability I'm going to hit from Monday to Friday. Now, as you can see here, I do have an example of the hours. So I want to look for, let's say, from 1 p.m. to um, 7 p.m. And I'm going to just copy and paste that into all my availability dates like this. Then I'm going to hit into next. If you want to accept payments and grow your revenue, you can do that. If you want to do this later, it's totally fine for, for us. This is just like a third party. You can whether you use PayPal, you can use Squirrel, you can use Tribe to receive the money online. But in my case, I just want to skip this for a second because I just want to focus into the setup, correctly setup of the schedule in our website. So I'm going to hit into later. And it says here, welcome, let's start things by setting up your availability next. So we've already set up our availability. We can create appointment types. We add a schedule into our website. So here is the call station. This is just an example and it's going to be appearing like this. So once I hit into my availabilities, here are the consultations. I can save my regular hours and it's going to be appearing into more and more weeks. After hitting to add schedule to your website, it says general scheduling page. I want to copy this scheduling page and I want to paste it inside my plugins. Add a existing schedule. I'm going to paste my web my website of my schedule and boom, here it is already um, added into my store. So I think like for my specific taste, I want to make this a little bit more big enough to fill into my whole um, into my whole website. I think it's looking really great. The choose choose button menu information powered by Equity Scheduling. So we're gonna go into Squad Records. So what you can do here is to check it out if this appointment works for you. Let's say twenty. Uh, here continue you can input your name your phone and your email and complete the appointment and once we've done that and appeal the confirmation if i go back into my square and if i go back into my home section here's going to be appearing all the appointments that people have just uh, made once i do have my website already set it up and published so i'm going to hit into close and you're going to be seeing all of that in here so as you can see, guys, it was a really, really simple tutorial. We've to use a, some stuff into the square space. Uh, so don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you do want to see more about this great, great, great uh, platform for website creators. Thank you so much for watching the video. And I will see you guys on the next one.